Okay, so we've got a patient who's a COVID patient with pelvic trauma and a head injury. Anesthetist, are you happy to intubate the patient? Yes, we are. Yes. Should we do our emergency department pre intubation checklist? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Patient position optimised? Check. Oxygen connected and reserve supply available? Check. Oxygen mask on tight and reservoir bag moving? Check. Entitled CO2 attached and working? Check. Check. Cannula functioning times two? Check and check. IV fluid connected? Check. Monitoring attached, BP cycling, SATs and ECG? Check. Immobilised briefed? Check. Code red and complex major trauma patients, blood products required? Yes. Shock pack arrived and blood checked? Yes. Belmont prepared? Yes. Operator is Tony. Requirement for thoracostomy immediately post RSI? Is a no. RSI drugs, estimated patient's weight declared as 70 kilos, everyone in agreement? Yes. yes. Drug regime will be alfentanil, 500 mics, 1 mil. Ketamine, 70 milligrams, 7 mil. Mm -hmm. Rocuronium, 70 milligrams, 7 mils. Yeah. Okay. Propofol infusion prepared? Check. Okay. Equipment preparation, plan A. Mac blade size 4, Check. bulb working. Alternate blade, McCoy, bulb working. Check. Primary suction prepared? Check. Backup suction available? Check. Bougie size 15. Check. Tube size 8. Check. Alternate tube size 7. Check. Side stream entitled CO2. Check. Tube tie and tape. Check. Okay, equipment preparation. Gidel and MPA immediately available. Check and check. Superglottic airway immediately available. Check. Difficult airway trolley available if required. Check. Glide scope required from theatre. Not required. This is not a patient who's high probability for a surgical airway. Immediately prior to RSI will confirm current baseline ups. Okay, so heart rate is 118 beats per minute, blood pressure is 86 systolic, and the SpO2 is 95. Okay, current plan to continue. Happy. Okay.